Howdy folks, today we're taking a look at the MFJ223 antenna analyzer. This is a, an MFJ vector impedance antenna analyzer. MFJ sent this to me to, on loan to try out for another antenna build that I was doing. And I figured this one was cool enough, it justified a video of its own. So let's check it out today on K5ATA, ham radio. Alright guys, as we get started, take care of all that YouTube stuff, hit that like button, hit subscribe, hit the bell. There is an Amazon Affiliates link down below where we've got some of the stuff that we use in the shack and the Padawan shack at school, um, as well as a Patreon link and a tip jar down there. If you feel so inclined to help support the Padawans and their radio club, then we would greatly appreciate it. So let's get started. Okay, so I've, obviously I've already taken it out of the box because I used it to... Um, put together an antenna and I want to check the SWR and so it's you don't get the unboxing but if it makes you feel warm and fuzzy that's what it looks like on the inside ooh ah alright um, in the box was also the instruction book um, I'll go ahead and tell you you really don't need the instruction book um, I actually plugged it in the first time and did some measuring without it but if you want, you can read it. And it is helpful for some things, like how to do a couple little things on there um, as far as settings and stuff. Uh, first thing I want to point out is there are no removable batteries, well, I guess, in there. But it's a, uh, it's a rechargeable battery. So it just takes a standard micro USB. Plug that bad boy in. You'll see the light light up. And she's charging. Okay, so that's kind of handy. And I've used this thing several times, and the charge is still at... 80% so it came out of the box at 80% just saying so it, it hasn't lost any juice um, basically this is kind of like a VNA in well in a case with buttons on it all right so, so I'm going to show you this using the phone to record because it wasn't really working out with the overhead camera I just couldn't get it adjusted well so when you hit system you see it's got the call sign and you can you can kind of step around your choices here that's how you go back and forth between Let's see what I'm at make sure I'm at the right one when you want to go to the next one you just hit the button and that's that multifunction button right there and you just go around if you want to select a different field come over here and hit select and you can that's the auto on auto off go ahead and turn it on save your battery and call sign. That's pretty much all you can select there. And then you hit exit. And when you boot it up, it's got your call sign on there. Um, it's got a single scan where you can set a frequency that you want it to scan, and it'll analyze the antenna that's attached to it on that frequency. So, for example, and the same thing here, you're going to use this multifunction knob. And click it, and let's say you want to check oops, wrong way, how this antenna is going to do at 14.2. And when you hit run right here, it's going to give you some values. And I've got um, a ham stick on the truck that we're going to go ahead and check out. And that way I can show you. It gives you the SWR, and it gives you the ZR and the X values as well. So your impedance, your resistance, and your reactance. You can return. Um, you can also scan. So if you find some random antenna and you want to know what it does, what frequencies it's good on, hit scan and it'll scan a range that you want to set. So you see it's got the span here is 24 megahertz. So it's going to scan a huge chunk of a range and we can attach an antenna there. And that way it kind of tells you where that antenna is resonant. And the same thing here, you just turn the knob to set your center frequency, and it scans on both sides of that. So if you set it at 14, it's going to scan, you know, 12 megs below and 12 megs above. 
Um, then it's got a present mode, which will show you when we do a scan. It's also got this little cell phone looking dude down here, and that's there so that you can, um, it, it's like an infer interference detector. I've never really seen it show, any, show anything there, but apparently it, you know, lights up and like cell phone bars if you're near something that's going to cause some interference and whatnot. Um, after you run it, your SWR will be labeled or listed right here next to the SWR, and you can see it with the cool little graph and whatnot there. So, um, a couple things I do like about this is it's micro USB chargeable. So you can just plug in a micro USB, and you see that little hole right next to it. That will light up red when it's charging. Um, it does have a female BNC connector on it, so make sure you've got some adapters to make it work with whatever antenna you have there. I've got a little uh, collection of those in a Rubbermaid case, and uh, I didn't pay a lot for them. I got them on Amazon. In fact, that's listed in my affiliates link if you want to check those out. But um, I did an antenna build on a new antenna. That, that video is coming out shortly on what the antenna is. And I was extremely impressed with this thing. So let's check it out and see how it does on an actual antenna now. Um, make this thing go. You just hold down the power button. Comes on. You see you can customize it with your call sign there. And you can do a couple of things with this. Well, I'm sure you can do a whole bunch. But one of the things that I do is I hit scan. And it's going to scan... A region you can change your frequency by if you push in this dial knob on top you can kind of change where you want it to go I've got the 10 meter whip on there right now so I'm gonna have it scanned from like 25 megahertz up and then you just hit scan and you can see the, the line right here that's showing your SWR 9.9 .9 at the very top at 24 megahertz, and I guess it started. Here we go. Here goes the drop at 29, and picking back up, <clears throat> kind of leveling off a little bit. Okay, so you can see I've got a drop there. You can then tune or turn this top knob, and you've got that little red line that goes until you find the frequency where it's the lowest, and where it's the lowest on this is 30.680 megahertz. So I'm a little high, um, the, oops. But I can put in a frequency if I wanna just check out a single band now that I know it's kinda of, sorta of close. I can hit single and the same idea here, you just put 28, uh, what is it, like 28.2 or something like that and hit run. And you can see at 28.2, I have a 2.24 SWR. You get the impedances 58, um, resistance, reactance, and whatnot. It gives you those settings or those values there as well. So 2.24, that's not bad. I can, I can improve that a little bit by adjusting that whip, but an antenna, internal antenna tuner will definitely tune that up. Um, Back in the scan, you can set a span to be different values here. See, I'm talking it's now 300, 600, 1.2. And so you can change that. All right, so now I have the 40 meter whip on there. So I wanna take that all the way down to 30.680. stop it once it starts. You see that big dip. Um, this Doing it this way is great to tell it for telling you, you know, where an antenna is resonant. And then if I want to see, what I should have done is hit single there. And go to 7200 there and then run it. And it tells me I have about a 2.12 or so SWR. Like I said, not perfect, but 
I can I can definitely tweak that and get it down there. This is the antenna I had fits with on this pota activation. I had some some trouble getting contacts on 20. I wanted to switch to 40 and I couldn't get this thing to tune for the life of me and I didn't have this thing with me. So had I had this, I could have gotten that thing on the air in no time and been out making those 40 meter contacts. All right, guys. So like I said, I highly recommend this little dude. It's extremely handy, extremely compact. It's about the size of a deck of cards. I can stick it in a pocket. I can stick it in, well, I'm going to stick it in my pota bag. Because I don't want to get stuck again for some reason not being able to tune something that I need to be able to tune. And it's just a handy little device. Um, MFJ is getting about 340 bucks, I think, for that thing. Um, so go check it out. And thanks again to MFJ for letting me borrow this dude for that other antenna build. Y'all take care, and we hope to see you on the air. 7-3.